Hello everyone, this is Nathan from Nathan's DIY Garage. Today we are test driving the BMW X5 E53. Okay, so you can see this E53 X5 is a six cylinder. It has 188,000 miles on it. Uh, got this thing, I just went through and did the normal maintenance. Got it all caught up. We're going to take it for a drive. This thing it seems like it accelerates pretty good. I've been driving it the last three or four days uh, without any problem at all. It uh, has a lot of low-end torque, not a lot of the higher-end torque like you, you would have in the car with the M54. Check the acceleration here. And yeah, we're going 30 miles an hour all the way to the mat. So you can see it's not real super fast. It's just kind of it's fast enough. It's more of a torque situation than it is a high speed situation. So the E53 is essentially the 5 series of the SUV. The X3 is the 3 series. Kind of goes without saying. Um, the E53 doesn't have a lot of the problems the 5 series has. So it doesn't have the seat back twisting problems. It doesn't have the headlight adjuster problems or at least not as bad. Um, it does share the same stereo and the climate control as the 5 series and those do show the same problems the same leds doesn't work there's problems with the hvac unit uh, but they're easily fixable you can buy the units cheap it's not really that big of a deal uh, if you know where to look to get the stuff a few things about the x5 e53 it does handle very well it's off-road capabilities are supposed to be very good it does have the downhill braking. There's a button you push on the dash that actually holds it back if you're on a muddy or snowy hill. The car looks pretty good. These cars are really coming down in value. They really are a good value if you can find one a little bit broken. Uh, like any BMW guy will tell you, beware of the V8 ones. They do have the timing chain guide problems. That is a very big and very costly problem if you do not know how to fix it yourself. Okay, so one other thing I might add to it, the fuel economy has been pretty good. It's 19 in town, 21 to 24 depends on how you're driving on the highway. This is with the CCV valve delete. I don't know what's going to be if you have a bad tune up, old plugs, dirty filter, and you still are running that valve. Uh, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Nathan's DIY Garage. Thank you.